and today I'm in Japan except today we're gonna be eating convenience food for 24 hours breakfast lunch dinner and anything in between here there's three large chains 7-eleven family mart and Lawson I still haven't decided which one's my favorite here in Japan so today we're gonna see all three compare the variety and see which one's my favorite So I don't know what I'm looking for specifically. They have some pre-made ramen. Same as my past video, I think I'm gonna leave ramen for later in the day. I have savory pancakes, found the natto. And I don't know, I kind of wanna, oh, this is a lot. I don't need three. I wanted to try one. There are the drink options. This is actually my favorite. If it weren't for me getting coffee right now, I would actually get that. I'm gonna leave that for later in the day. They also have Starbucks cafe lattes. I actually haven't tried this yet. These are good, I've had them before. So they ran out of the egg sandals, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's a chicken and egg with teriyaki sauce. I actually kinda wanna try this. And they have little ones too. Oh, I actually haven't seen this one. From the month I've been in Japan, this is the first time I see this, so I'm gonna try this actually. They have a ton of fruit mixes as well. I have gotten this apple pack here so many times. Like little mini croissants. I kind of wish I could just get one. These are my favorite. I can't believe they have these in the visual. This is one of the bigger 7-Elevens, so there's a lot more options. I don't know what I want to get, though. I've only picked out two things. Oh, there's a mocha blend. Everyone talks about 7-Eleven coffee, so I'm actually going to try it, but I want a regular. I'm going to get some soy milk. in Japan is that the convenience stores don't have seated areas for the most part. It's also so windy so I actually haven't tried the coffee yet and it's so hot that the ice has melted. I'd say it's good but nothing crazy about it. What I really like about the sun though is just open it. Cheers. This one's actually really good. I've had it before so this is not a new tasting. Next up we have an onigiri. I'm actually really excited to try this one because I've never seen chicken and mustard. Down. You keep it separate so that the seaweed doesn't get soggy, and then you separate it. I did not get any filling. I even like mustard that much, so I don't know why I got it. The last of this morning is I got a Belgian waffle. I feel like this would be really good if I heated it up. I actually like that. It's really subtle. It's not too sweet. shopping is going really bad and I'm not finding anything so let's see I have one more spot before I want to get lunch so let's see if we're lucky I 
I'm on my way to Family Mart to get lunch. I was trying to find a Family Mart that would have somewhere to sit. I think it's just very rare here in Japan. Um, but I'm excited. There's a few things that I looked at and I really want to try. There's like kind of bento style things here. I bought more than 7-Eleven. This is chicken karage. I think I might do this. Oh, I kind of like this. There's like pastas, bacon, ketchup, there's salads. Oh no, just kidding, that's ramen. <laughs> this is one of my favorite desserts here in Japan. I'm actually gonna get it. There's one of these, it's like a shrimp tomato pasta. There's also just a tomato one as well. I got the pizza bun, which is that right there. Dag is so cute. Oh my god, there's so much in here. I'm so excited. Welcome to my little food corner. It's kind of cloudy outside and the lighting is so bad. So we're gonna have to work with it. So for salty food, I got chicken and rice. I also got this pizza bun I've really been wanting to try. And I got the tomato soup, tomato pasta. I don't know what it is, honestly, because you eat it with a spoon. I've had so many of these while on the train. This is the chicken. I'm actually really impressed with this chicken. How much was it again? 4.30 yen with tax. I'd say like $4. And this itself is a meal. I just got more things to try. And there's so many pieces. I think there's six pieces. I'm gonna check on this tomato soup thing. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is not my favorite. I think it's way too watery. And I put less water than I was supposed to. That wasn't cooked. Um, I would give this like a six out of 10 because it has potential. Last thing we're gonna try is this pizza bun. I'm really excited to try it. This is also the last one they had. That's what she looks like. I really like this. This is literally a, what's it called? The pizza pocket pizza? Pizza pocket? This is literally a hot pocket in a bun. The sun sets so fast in Japan, so it's already dark. I got this. I don't know if I really want it now because I'm gonna be having this cream puff. I've had this, I think, four times, so this might be my fifth. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna rip it so you guys see it. Hold on, it rips on the side. I literally can't get tired of this. I'm not hungry yet, so I'm not going out to get... Hold on, I have to double check if my door closed properly. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys with me to Donkey, which is like, I don't even know how to explain or what to call it. It's a huge store that has everything possible. It has food, it has cosmetics, it has everything. I've never been to Donkey where it has been super full. It's always full here. And then I think the first floor, they do really popular items, popular beauty, popular foods, popular popular anything. And I really want this bathroom mat. I've already been to this location. I really want this mat. Oh my God, look, they have this one. They have a Gigi one too. Wait, these are new. I didn't see these last time. How cute, so many keychains. There's Halloween Pocky. Guys, the Kit Kats are completely destroyed. I got these strawberry ones in New York once and they sold it for $15, which is actually absurd. And these are different than the ones that I've gotten before. Ooh, hazelnut. I wanna take that. Sweet potato. I'm gonna take this one for my family. They love anything that's orange flavored. There's also milk tea, but I don't really like milk tea, so I'm not gonna take that. Wait, there's bulldog here. I would so have this for dinner, but I don't think that counts. Guys, look how cheap pop and cooking is here. They're like seven dollars each in the US. How did this happen only on the first floor? It's so dangerous coming here because you end up buying so much more than you expect. This is my favorite. I wish Japanese convenience stores had these because they're so good. Last up, we have Lawson. There's one right in front of this donkey, actually. We're at our last 
meal. They don't have a lot of sweet options. I don't know. Girl dinner, for sure. I never got to try those. Maybe we can do those. I'm gonna go with this. Ooh, let's see. They have macarons. <gasps> what? That kind of looks good, but do I want matcha right now? This lost one doesn't have that many options, so I'm kind of sad. I want ice cream, but... Like I showed you guys, they don't have that many options. And I don't want this to be the only thing I get. Let's see. Do they have the yogurt drink? I don't think they do. There's a yogurt drink that people really like, but I've never tried it. Okay, I'm going to the other Lawson right in front of my actual hotel. Because that one was so bad. There was nothing. They didn't even have ice cream. And this one has good ice cream, so I'm excited. <laughs> We're back in our a little corner. Everything behind me is a mess because I leave Japan soon. When the girl gave me my bag after I bought whatever at Donkey, I realized how heavy it is, and I'm pretty sure both of my luggages are gonna pass. 50 kilograms. We have not that many things for tonight. My ramen is cooking. I've seen this ramen be really popular here in Japan. They have a chicken ramen factory for this exact ramen in Yokohama. So while that cooks, I'm gonna try these chicken nuggets from Lawson. Not gonna lie, these might have been in there all day. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. It's a little too greasy in my opinion. The oil is the only thing throwing me off. Other than that, I rate this is 7.5. This is our ramen. It comes with like a egg glob. It was kind of powdery um, when I opened the package, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this, but cheers. Not gonna lie, I thought these would be better. I thought they would taste similar to chicken ramen from the same brand that I usually have in the US. It kind of tastes like soy sauce. And this is supposed to be the egg. Mm -mm. I don't know how I feel about powdered egg. I'm trying to give it a chance. I'm surprised I like the chicken nuggets more than this ramen. This is gonna be like a 4 out of 10 for me. And they have all different kinds of sizes for these in Japan. Mm -hmm. 